This is what it looks like from the outside. Got a few balconies. Let's go in. Oh, before I get in there, as you can see, I got a little camera. In case anybody wants to ring the doorbell, it'll let me see it from a few different places in the house, which is kind of cool. Got a little side area over there. I don't think I'll be spending too much time over there, but Casa de la Sac. As you can see, I got a little area for people to put their uh, shoes and everything. In Japan, they don't like you to walk on the floors with your shoes. Got a whole lot of closet space for shoes right here. More closet space. That could really be for anything. No. And I guess we'll take a tour of this bathroom. This is one bathroom house. As you can see, they put the toilets and the bathroom in two different areas in Japan, which is kind of cool, you know, give you a little bit of privacy. Sink right here is where my washer and dryer is going to go tomorrow. That will be delivered right here. We got the bathroom. And if you notice, there's a there's like a shower pointing right there. Well, that's because this is the actual shower right here itself. And this is the bathtub. So you can actually close this door and then take a shower right here where you're standing. Also, has a little drain for all the water. This bathtub can be filled up and heated from the living room. I think upstairs from the room as well. Got a little control panel that I'm gonna have to figure out since it's in Japanese, but hey, trial and error is gonna have to come. Moving along. Again, got a toilet room right there. Got the first bedroom right here, immediate left when you come in. Nice size room. Probably gonna be like a computer room or something. Haven't quite figured out what to do with any of these rooms besides the master bedroom, of course. Let's look at my neighborhood right here. This is a mansion by Japanese standards. If you've ever been inside a Japanese house or apartment, you'll, you'll realize that most of the whole apartments are probably about the size of this room. So I was very blessed to come up on this house. I went through a whole lot of houses just to find the one for me. And this was the one uh, size wise that made me feel like I was back at home in the United States. So over here, you got the kitchen area. See if I can turn on some of these lights. Got the kitchen area right here, stove, where I'll be filming all those single nigga meals or people, meals for people who uh, live by themselves. You got a big deep sink, I like that. Even though I like to use a lot of paper plates. You got plenty of storage for pots, pans, whatever. At the top and the bottom, got a little, little oven right there i don't have to figure that out because i like to cook pizzas storage right here is where the fridge is going to go tomorrow got a little dining room little area put a little table right there if i want couches you know tv probably going to go right here somewhere but yeah very 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 big space to do whatever with and then I got a little patio out here now if you notice I got two doors which is smart because one of them is for a screen close that and then this other one you can come out of you have to watch your step though don't want to fall on a drunk night gotta get me some furniture out here Cool little patio area, man. Not too big. Put a little barbecue grill out here or something. 
as you can see i got a lot of bushes to obscure me from people seeing unless they're up there somewhere and then i got this shutter if you pull this all the way down no light will come in at all so that's another good thing i like about this all right moving on up like i said you can program a lot of stuff from right here you can see who's at the door you could i think that's for the tub one of these is for the tub you can program that thing to come on air conditions all that other good stuff i'm gonna have to figure out on my own again we got the first room right there on upstairs it's about 95 degrees outside so then immediately right here, you got another toilet. There's no bathroom up here, but a toilet is very convenient. Got to get up and use the bathroom. Here we have another bedroom. One of the upstairs bedrooms, nice closet size with its own balcony. Nice cool little balcony space overlooking everything I'm gonna spend too much time out there right now and then we go into another bedroom there's a little balcony right here too I don't think it's made for getting out on I think it's probably more for a bunch of access water or something but you got another window and this room right here got a walk-in closet. So, as y'all can see, it's enough room for me to fit anything I want in here. Might make this room a studio room since it uh, has a closet that can be like a booth or something. Uh, you got another whole closet in here. And I showed y'all that room. And then here is the master bedroom which immediately to the right, got a closet. Nice, good space. Let me back up a little bit. Very nice and spacious. Direct sunlight won't be all in my face. I'm gonna put the bed that way. And then here we got a whole nother balcony. Just a little bit more bigger. Air condition right there. That's pretty much it, man. Told y'all I was gonna give y'all a little tour of the mini mansion. And like I said, I can pull these down in case I don't want no sunlight. Lock that. Oh, gotta close this first. Boom. Do one more walk around, make sure I ain't leave nothing open. I like the double door action. Yeah, man, this is my new crib. Close that, walk that back up. 90 100 degrees in this house but anyways as y'all can see it's the new crib about to fill this thing up with furniture come up with some ideas on what to do with all this room and that's it